The regional youth conference for day one was to bring together youths from the respective sites, PNG Family Health Association youths, to display the work they had been doing. UNFPA has been funding these programs through the Spotlight Initiative for the youth. UNFPA have been working closely with PNG FHA and partners like CIMC, Murray Stopes and Oxfam. Under the Spotlight Initiative, PNG FHA has been asked to disseminate information regarding sexual and reproductive health and GBV because these are the two cross-cutting issues that occur in our country. Michelle Tovebay of PNG FHA spoke on events shared from the three desks that the way forward is through the success stories of survivors. We report on data, statistics and all that, but also the individual stories, people who have come forward and saying that they've received these services through our young people who went out and advocate on gender-based violence or sexual reproductive health. That's how they've got the information from them and they came to the clinic reporting most of it was you know gender-based violence that's um, in the three sites. Nelly McClay, president of PNG FHA, said it is important that Papua New Guineans, regardless who they work for, are part of the discussion in addressing health and education issues affecting the youth. In his keynote address, UNFPA Assistant Representative Stephen Panu said PNG has more young people in its overall population than most countries in the world. This is both a risk and an opportunity. It means that young people, it means that that young people must be given the knowledge, skills, and opportunities to make positive choices for themselves, their communities, and their country. We cannot wait for people today to reach 30, 40 year olds, then to be given the chance to participate in public ambition making. They must be given this chance now. He said young people need the skills to break the cycle of violence, the skills to communicate, negotiate without violence, and the skills and confidence to make positive decisions to direct their own lives now so they can direct PNG towards a healthy, peaceful, and prosperous future. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.